thank you and John Carpenter and Deborah Hill because if, if it wasn't for you and uh, many others making these films, there would be no Midnight Madness yeah, program. Yeah, far out. Exactly. So, I usually welcome people to Midnight Madness, but you are Midnight Madness. <laughs> I like that. Thank you. Hi. Hey, Hi, it's Robert Mitchell, and I'm here at the 2019 Toronto International Film Festival, and I'm here with our filmmakers of the closing uh, film, Crazy World, and this film tonight is going to be a party that closes down this uh, edition of Midnight Madness, and uh, this is Alan, Isaac, and Emmy, and uh, we're super excited that they're uh, all the way here from Uganda tonight to celebrate cinema with us. Welcome uh, to Toronto. No, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Welcome. Uh, thank you. Thank you for Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, could you tell me the story of Crazy World and uh, the idea of how you came up with uh, to make this film? Yeah, the idea is uh, basically, you know, it was about child sacrifice, in, which is common in Uganda. Um, you know, sometimes you get afraid that even your children might be, you know, uh, sacrificed. Then you have, you want them to, you know, to be scared. I mean, people to scare, to be scared that these are, you know, Kung Fu masters. They cannot just be taken away. So I decided to come out with a story where even children can defend themselves. So, and, you know, also like encouraging others, you know, we have to fight against, you know, child sacrifice. And if we teach our own children. So it's basically that. It is fun and it's a lot of, with, with a lot of fun, you know, the, 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 the rich guy, you know, is a short one and, he's, you know, the way he behaves in the movie. So it is basically crazy. It is crazy. It's madness. Hence, crazy world. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy Toronto, man. <laughs> crazy, crazy Tiff. Crazy Toronto. Crazy. Yeah. In fact, also there is that uh, mad, mad, mad guy who was also fighting alongside the children, because I wanted to bring out the the the, the other side of these mad men we see alongside the lords. How what they think? What they are real? Are they really in our lives? So people might think that they are mad. Others are not. I've, I've had you know many friends who are like yeah they look mad, but they they reason more than even these so-called non-mad whatever mm -hmm. who are not mad but they reason and i've seen such, such you know such people so it was also my motive to bring such you know people the character of a mad person how what does how does he see the world the world of that madness what how does it you know uh, how can we relate it to you know to our lives it was also um, some you know have uh, that side i had that that idea when i was writing that movie yeah, it's a universal story because the world seems like it's getting crazier and crazier as the years roll on. The timing's on. perfect, man. The yeah. timing is perfect. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> could you, uh, Emmy, could you tell me, because uh, it's pretty amazing when I watched uh, Who Killed Captain Alex recently on YouTube, which I read was the only surviving copy, unfortunately. So it's amazing that's still out there and people can see it. Could you tell me how the VJ tradition started? Um, VJ tradition is, uh, started back in 80s. Um, actually, back home, um, the, the movie, Western movies used to trend around video halls. But back home, people don't watch movies when they are not translated. I wasn't the first VJ, but I'm the best VJ <laughs> the world has. Yeah, so um, uh, VJ have been working good with the Western. Uh, uh, content to make sure that this, they satisfy the the local viewers, but when the local um, uh, local local content came in, so we had to promote the original, cause actually I won't deceive you. We are pirates. We are pirating, cause translating a movie, which you have no rights, it's a crime. We've been attending a lot of. Uh, a lot of uh, workshops now we know about that so i switched to local uh, content mm -hmm. local industry just to get involved my brother found me he gave me a chance i started translating uh, our, our local movies and many have been following many movie makers have been bringing their movies uh, to my studios to translate them because I'm the only one who is based can do it better than anyone. Yeah, you're mm. pirated now, though. Yeah, I, I, but I, at least I have movies rights. are pirated now. There's people who say they are VH at yeah. UJM and they're not. Wow, so now, but at yeah. least I have the real deal. At least my director chose me. 
Did I pilot your movie? No, no, no. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe Tiff tonight. Yeah. <laughs> we have to be sure because we have Piracy Hunter tonight yeah, to I make know. sure that I someone... Uh, yeah, I but, but I was. I wanted also to talk about the VJ, the, the beginning of VJ, because in fact, the first VJ in Uganda was my classmate and it was called Chiwa. We used to, uh, around primary four, primary two, something like that, we were together in, 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 in the primary school. Mm -hmm. But um, for me, I believe that a VJ idea came from, you know, from our ancestors, whereby, you know, African societies used to sit in the evening alongside maybe a fire or something like fire yes. camp, uh, yeah. and then they start telling stories uh, to children, and that's how I grew up, in fact. You know, our grandmother used to tell us stories, mm -hmm. and then we we grew up you know uh, you know fond of you know listening uh, to someone you know telling you know a story and then you you keep quiet and listen so uh, that is what is happening nowadays it is just a translation a transformation from uh, the uh, the elders telling we stories and this one and now and now these one are telling you know everyone mm. and in a, in another way because th those days it was not you, you yes you want to laugh but you don't laugh because you want to, to hear but nowadays it is like they have you know they i was i, I witnessed one one day when we took i translated the movie to a certain village mm -hmm. i was just watching to see if these people are really following they were not following they were just laughing because they could not even hear i mean he says one word and they're la laughing and then they don't hear the second word. Mm -hmm. So that really makes them even want to watch the movie again and again and again because whenever they laugh, they miss something and then when they watch the movie again, oh, they, they realize that they missed something. So they keep on watching the movie more and more. You know, it is, it is an amazing audience in Uganda because so, I mean, had a, at one time he had a video hall himself mm -hmm. and so we were working on Bad Black and Crazy World and then I tried to be a VJ a little bit you know, and you take it and I can do like the New York accent, what the hell you doing, all this. And just, there were like 10 people, because we were rehearsing, but he has people there mm -hmm. for fun. Uh, they were all laughing nonstop. And I said, oh, did okay. You, did you remember? It's a <laughs> great <laughs> audience. <laughs> oh, the, the, the Buster Keaton's the general, yeah. Oh, nice. That would have yeah. been amazing. We'd have it, yeah, he's done it. Uh, yeah. They went crazy about that movie. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it's VJ mm -hmm. in, in, uh, in Luganda, yeah. And you were the problem. You told me to put that movie on the market. Yeah. I have piracy. I don't, I don't look at public domain. That's not a maybe. Uh, uh, what are you doing? I mean, it's just. But many, yeah, many, many VJs have been uh, following and yeah. looking for Buster Kitonese yeah. movies. And in fact, that is that was the beginning yeah, of yes, Charlie, Charlie was, Chaplin. Yeah, yeah. yeah they, because after, was that after, me? After, yeah. I was Buster Keaton. Yes, after then, Buster Keaton, then the Charlie Chaplin. After yeah. the general. When I translated the general, yeah, everyone ah, was yeah. looking for something similar. And then it they, they was found everywhere. Char Charlie Chaplin. And you're watching these, I see these short films from Charlie Chaplin that I don't know. Like that, you have an expert now finding these films, you know? <laughs> I, I don't even know what, what, what these are. And I think there's experts now selling them, pirating them, like who, who specialize. Where did, where did I give them? <laughs> what's what's great like yeah the, your film is following uh cinema traditions and storytelling traditions and now taking it to a new place and a new level mm -hmm. that's pretty amazing speaking of stories alan you have an amazing <laughs> story i know I it i know it's been talked about like anytime you research and you look you know but it's still an amazing story and it's well it's not over yet yeah like i think but this is the end of the beginning of something mm -hmm. you know but no look it's me like I, i'm just a fan my like, background's in production and whatnot and as mm -hmm. a festival director too but i just saw 60 seconds on youtube and then 30 seconds and i could not get it out of my head and I, on a not a hunch like i felt like this is this is the real thing and so i found them in Uganda and I was my god I was right and that was it and I tell you and so I felt like my mission is like well what what do you do mm -hmm. well you have, you have to get them out you have to get the films out so you hear Isaac talking about he's talking about what's happening with child sacrifice and the village and his own family and the threat and then I'm sitting there like I have a responsibility you know and so on one hand it's like it's a beautiful amazing thing that you're part of but also I feel like it's like it's it's something important and it's a wonderful thing where you have something like Midnight Madness, not even to mention Closing Night film, mm -hmm. where you have something I think on one hand is complete comedy where you can't even hear the movie because you are laughing and is also about something that is so important you need to be there. Like, because normally if you have something important, it's serious. Yeah. You have a serious thing. Or you can have a comedy that's great, but you forget about it. It's not important. It could be funny though. Mm -hmm. 
So that's what I mean. I'm looking at this, and but, I'm like, but the trend is is changing. Even if uh, you know, we we used to uh, to see uh, churches where by people were humble always when they are playing, but nowadays you see born again churches. People are laughing and jumping and doing everything. Even they are like commanding God to give them, you know, blessings. It's like they don't play like the humble way. So I think the trend is changing. Also, mm -hmm. we need to know that you know everything is almost like violent and uh, and and comedy almost some some similar to that because if you see someone you know you asking god please give me that, 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 something like that and that is the tone <laughs> which we are seeing now in churches yeah. so i think it is also coming to movies mm -hmm. they have to you know yes you are teaching you have to be a little bit aggressive because i mean you have to follow the the, the, the trend i mean the 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 generation of today they want they don't want to speak in the, in the as in the past you know i remember my grandparents when they were like you know you have to talk to them you know in fact you had even to kneel mm -hmm. to kneel down but nowadays you know our our children are like yeah dad i want i want they're, they're, they're straight yes yeah, totally we, changed yeah, yeah the, the generation is changing so we have to also to go with the generation mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One thing that's fascinating when I started getting into your films and that is uh, obviously any film uh, has its challenges. I mean, could you speak to challenges that you all face when you're making these films? Yeah, challenges, uh, like, you know, first challenge was electricity always. Mm -hmm. there. Uh, another challenge was also women. Uh, you know, having women in movies, especially those who are well educated, it's not easy in Uganda because... Um, because of still the culture we still have that culture whereby they say no women cannot you know kick women cannot fight or women cannot do this women cannot do something like that we are we are, we are fighting to also to lift the women in the, my, my movie you saw that in bad black where i had to you know to to, to make this lady you know powerful and, and and i want women to believe that yes we can also do something we cannot be left behind so something like that that is a challenge uh will you find I don't know what is happening, especially if it comes to English, because English is sometimes needed mm -hmm. uh, in doing things. But women in Uganda, when they get married, they also lose that English. I don't know why. I've, I've realized that. And when they get married, they cannot, they cannot do such, you know, acting, Be, you know, because of the other, the, the, where the, the other side of husband is always criticizing. These guys are going to get spoiled, something like that. Who say that, uh, you know, talent is spoils? Because acting is, is something like talent. Yeah. Yes. Even the, 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 the also a problem of, you know, money is also still a, a big problem. Yes. Yes. We, you can do a movie without money, but there are some things which we know you i mean you need to, mm -hmm. because you also we we also need school fees we need you know a food you need everything like like that but you know we, 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 though we even if we don't have that money it can't stop us from you know doing something yes there's also coming a problem of pilots pilots is still in fact it wasn't before mm -hmm. we used to talk about pilots in uganda but it wasn't there until we started selling movies all over the country going door to door man to man we introduced that system mm -hmm. then people we realized that you know people are now you know interested in ugandan movies then they started piloting them i remember of recent when i released a movie called once a soldier uh it it, it i someone rang me uh, from 150 miles away from Kampala and said that I've watched my your movie in fact when I in five hours after releasing it I told him no it can't be it can't be I know that journey I know he said let me tell you the whole story <laughs> and he had already seen the whole story so that means now pilots is there after you know sensitizing the people the, I mean people there down especially in villages mm -hmm. that you know Ugandan movies are hot and uh, you know what another thing I've realized with <coughs> my movie especially my movies if someone buys it they don't lend it they don't give it to friends because yeah, if you give it. it if you give it to friend it will never come back they always complain if i if you give it to someone they never give you it, give it back to you no so anyway those pilots is a very big problem and we are we are still fighting it i mean with the government and you know government we are trying to, to, to also to tell the government that uh, we need to uh, you know to sensitize for me as as a person because what the government is trying to do with us especially little they're, they're trying to, to to find ways and what they're doing is they they want to put their what they call ip intellectual property police mm -hmm. but for me i'm telling them that we don't need that intellectual police because we have already police in place let us sensitize the the police which we have because even the police we have in place is is is, is not well paid so and you are bringing in another burden 
So for me, I'm telling them, don't let the, the, and the problem in Uganda is that they don't know how to use low budget. They don't know. Uh, that is the biggest problem I've realized. People, you tell them that you can use the little you have. Always, that's what I'm trying to tell them. Mm -hmm. To start, if you get money, like when I'm making movies, I use the little I have. If you buy, then that means I've got something. Then maybe the, the, the budget will go up. But let me first do the movie and then do, go on. And, you know, it's the same with the pilots. If we could, you know, sensitize the, the police which we have in place and then later on, if it works because if we, if we sell movies they will also tax us and then we have the money to set a, a ip so that is what i always tell them but the problem is they always say we need a budget we need something we need always because of that corruption in between there it's also like a lot of because uganda has many filmmakers of course you know both say upper class and lower class and, mm -hmm. and you know working with isaac and and people you know they ask say i should help them too in this and i'm like yeah of course but the thing is they're waiting for me and it's like, no, I mean, I, Isaac is force of nature. He's a freight train, you know, and that's when I think I, I can help because he's doing it. But it seems like so many are waiting for, for someone else. Yeah, yeah, and they're in fact also the good cameras and what? Yeah, they, the and that changes every three 6K. months. <laughs> yeah, a 6K. And I, and I always tell them that no one needs your 6K. You're going to even end up, you know, putting your movie on a DVD mm -hmm. and it's going to be even converted to DV, not even HD. Yeah, they're worried about the tools just yeah. not getting out sure. and telling yeah. the story and making it happen. It that is happens the, a lot. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah a lot it's, of it's universal. Yeah. Yeah. Normally I tell them that please focus on the story. Mm -hmm. than you know focusing on the camera you're going to use people will not they will never ask what camera you, did you use <laughs> they will always ask what what is in the movie you might even get that tonight <laughs> yeah. right yeah, yeah, yeah. to have the q a yeah. so and also what, what people do is uh they would say okay martin scorsese so a big a big filmmaker mm -hmm. okay that's what i want uh, and so they fight for that but then they see it as difficult what what i don't see are people seeing how did scorsese begin you know, what did they do in the beginning? How he had nothing and built it. And so part of it, like the story for me of what Hollywood is like, no, it's important, I think, the story of how this all happened. And yeah, I'm part of it, say, in this, but Isaac and stuff, they, they went viral well before I came, thanks to YouTube and all the huge fan base. So it's, a, it's really like a very public story that like, there's no guarantees, you know, but you have to do it, man. And uh, the midnight crowd, um they're, they're waiting for the action in your movie tonight. What kind of action are we going to see in Crazy World? <laughs> <laughs> it, it is that madness. For me, in fact, the, the, the dates, have, if you said madness, whatever, it is, it is a good title for the movie. <laughs> it is madness that you expect from such a movie. You know, it is a crazy world. You're going to see a mad person in the movie. So it is a mad already. The world uh, is going to be yeah. crazy. The world is going to go crazy tonight. That's it. Nice. Yep. <laughs> so what do you uh, What do you think the future of Hollywood uh, it could be? As you're making films, I'm sure you're making a film right now. Yeah, I'm making many, 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 many <laughs> movies, <laughs> yeah. and I will never stop. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like, oh, let me hold on, and mm -hmm. and you end up, you know, getting another story. Yeah, you know, you have they, this passion. Yeah, they're always, yeah, they're always coming. They're always coming. Yeah, as I was, you know, coming on the plane, I wanted to write, but I didn't come with a pen, and yeah. a story came in, and I wanted to put it on on paper. Was yeah. it with the potholes in the air? Yeah, yeah, in the potholes <laughs> in the air, and I was like, here, yeah, this guy, you know, maybe because it, when I was looking at the map, mm -hmm. I could see New York somewhere. And then I say, is it Trump or Canada? <laughs> so yeah, was, who is responsible for these potholes in the area? Yeah. So it wow. was like that. Anyway, but the truth is, uh, it's uh, Trump. Yeah, it's, is it Trump? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, when we entered New York, yeah. <laughs> that's when that, that's where that's when we saw uh, we started um feeling the big tremors when you entered new york you when, felt it already yes <laughs> but the road is just not he not was like road. what's wrong with these roads so you look on the map and yes. yeah, the road is, this uh, must be in new york in the i i, I think yeah. trump has to clear himself yeah. he has to work better we don't know the new york roads yet but uh the air roads are not okay so Trump mm -hmm. must sort himself if out. You're listening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is yeah, no. Well, I've always said uh, when you go past Trump Tower there, it's like the Citadel of Evil. All the other New York buildings around it are beautiful, lit up, and then there's just this really crazy sliver, and there's no lights. Yep. It's crazy. <laughs> crazy world. <laughs> <laughs> 
about talk about Wakali in the future. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Let's bring it back. Yeah, we, we, we believe that uh, we want it big. And I mean, we want to, to train as much as possible many children because that's why I'm including children because I feel like the children are the future. Uh, of any anything, I mean that I have them and I call them the Wakastas. In fact, you will see that. The, in fact, that movie was the first movie for the Wakastas. Yeah. Those are the children, the younger children of Wakaliwood. Uh, we believe that we need to to, to 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 train them and to have that you know mentally able and physically able, as in they are also good in kung fu. That really helps them. Uh, to uh, body water fitness and also I'm now teaching them how to do a lot of things like editing you know mm -hmm. directing and other stuff but we believe that they are going to we the problem is we st have little sp space uh, otherwise uh, uh, so many movies are, are, because they have been in mo many movies like Million Dollar Kid which inspired so many children all over the country and all those children want to come and participate I've so many parents are calling and there are others are bringing them there and i don't have to sometimes i feel like i don't why should i you know chase them yeah. and, and then I, I say come and then you know it, it feels it hurts to chase someone who has got a dream it hurts because by all means he has to find a way of you know you know uh, reaching the the, the 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 dream and you feel like if i didn't know i didn't help it will it will hurt you more yeah so i i sometimes allow them but i don't have enough space so otherwise if i get that space i believe that i can you know train them i can you know uh, uh make work a best a better place for everyone because whoever comes to work can become a commando in fact if you go to work right now you will see that there's a wall of them where everyone all fans who come to Wakali would want to die in a movie they die in a movie we kill them and then they write their names there so we want everyone to to, to, to enjoy mm -hmm. what what do you feel like, i mean if it is a movie there are so many people i know here in in america with in, in north america who want to you know to act but access to acting is not that easy mm -hmm. but for us we believe that yes if you feel you want to do it do it well, I feel like you you make movies for your community, and that community is getting bigger and bigger. And now you're bringing more people from the community to work in the movies. Yeah. I think it's amazing that it is community driven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is that that is me. That's me. I want to work with everyone mm -hmm. uh, from the community, small community of Wakaliga, and I, I, I've not only you know worked in movies. I've also set their school, though one of the school was demolished because of family, you know, Rangoland and what. But I'm also trying to educate them. I'm trying. I'm, I'm feeling. I feel like I, I should. You know, it is my you know obligation to educate them. Yes, I did not get that good education, but at least if I can contribute, mm -hmm. because that is the way. That is the future of of the world. All people are you know educated all over the world. So if it if these children lag, they they, they stay behind. You know, we are going to lose. Otherwise, uh, the way I learned this small English, which I'm sp I'm speaking right now, is from my children. I mean, I try to. Work Work very hard to see that I put these children in schools where they can speak English, and then I try to tell them that I started, you know, speaking to them. I mean, speaking with them in English. Mm -hmm. They taught me. Now at least I can communicate. Yes, I I was educated, but the problem with the schools of our days, we were not even able to speak because even the teachers were speaking to us in in, in all, all local languages. They were not also they were not able to. But nowadays children can speak when they're you know young mm -hmm. English to communicate at least to, for easy communication. So th they taught me. At least I now I can you know try. Yeah, I'm not good, but at least I can try. So that's amazing. So you're helping the younger generation, and the younger generation's helping you. It's fascinating. It's a great. Yeah, I, yeah. In fact, in fact, that is people should know that. In fact, talents have no boundaries. Mm -hmm. You can you know help a child. Mm -hmm. Just you, in fact, you just help, and then they you, you, they show you a lot of your skills. Uh, that in fact because it's a talent. It, you know, God gives you something. Let's let me give you an example of football. Okay. Uh, whereby someone can do a trick and then you cannot do it even if you you try to learn it but he has it it is him it is himself so you just need that uh, to nurture that boy into you know discipline and something and then he he will keep on you know dribbling like those of you know the, the Brazilians we have seen the like, yes, you and, and others yeah they are good but they were they, if you ask them if you tell them can you teach me what you are doing <laughs> they never do it they will never they don't know how even to teach it but they have it so it's just a matter of giving them a chance a platform and they go. Let them find it. Yeah. Mm -hmm.